push higher on yields. Uh, so the prices have weakened off. Jessica Russett from Figures Live for you this afternoon. Uh, no major economic data of note, uh, Jessica. So really, it's all down to the Fed and lending something of a kind of a, an either bearish or uh, I suppose bullish due to proceedings, or perhaps there's more that likely to be typecast, uh, dovish or hawkish. What's your sixth sense on the run of data we've seen leading up to this meeting? Good afternoon, Carson. Mm. Thanks for having me. Mm. That's right, all eyes will be on that FOMC meeting, which will come through Thursday. Mm. And it, at the moment, there's 97% chance that there will be a, a Fed hike there. And so it's pretty much priced into the market. Mm. Uh, and it will. It'll, it'll be a, a conversation really about uh, where we go from here, if there are any future rate hikes, mm. and also talk about the, the balance sheet normalization as well. And so I think from there, it will be uh, either one camp of its uh, hawkish tone or it's quite dovish. Uh, at the moment, the market is pricing in a 43% chance of one more hike after mm. this, and there's only 11% chance for two more from then on. So I think all eyes will be to see uh, which camp it falls into. Now, there are 56 billion dollars of debt auctions uh, on the docket this week. How vulnerable is, is kind of the bid cover on that, given you know, the, the tone struck by the Fed? Yeah, it, it's actually quite it's a quite a large auction actually for this week and that mm. coincides with this Fed meeting as well. There was an auction of 20 bill overnight that was met with soft demand for the 10 year notes. Mm -hmm. The three year was met being shorter dated as well. There's more demand in that shorter end of the curve mm -hmm. and that was met with more demand and I, I think some of that came away um, and there was less demand therefore for the longer dated 10 year. Mm -hmm. So I think actually this uh, this week there will be soft demand for those until they know the outcome of this uh, meeting. Yeah, now in terms of signal and noise, just to continue that theme a little bit a little further tonight, the AG, the Attorney General, is giving some testimony. Another Senate committee is the venue here. What kind of a, a viewer market's forming on this on this on the tone struck here given it's probably going to be you know uh, you know a, a 2018 story on tax cuts and infrastructure if we get them which could be what he's grilled on right yeah, that, that, that's absolutely right. And more than anything, I don't. I, I think these this um, committee meeting uh, that um, Attorney General Sessions will be attending. I, I don't think so much as the outcome of that really matters so much. It's more the fact um, for the markets that it's this distraction from Trump getting his tax cuts and spend um, mm. spending policy through. Uh, last week was Infrastructure Week, and it actually made the news mm. for its lack of attention at all. Yeah. Um, Trump uh, to it around talking um, at events on his plans for the infrastructure spend, but it really mm. didn't get any noise whatsoever because it was all on this um, political drama that's unfolding out over mm. there at the moment. In terms of the dramas domestically that investors are digesting as they wade into the, uh, the, the fixed income space, and you are seeing uh, both the five-year and the 10-year uh, pushing up, but still looking pretty accommodative at these levels. So in terms of imposts for corporates, put it in real terms, put it into context where yeah. we're at. Yeah, that's right. So we have had actually the um, Aussie government yields actually holding pretty steady. Uh, they're, they're up um, t t about two basis points this morning, the five and ten year yields. They've come off a little bit now. We've got the five year at 1.97% and that ten year is about 2.41%. Uh, that five year has actually broken through that two percent range and it has been there, f uh, it's trading under there for the past week. Uh, and we have had that ten year just pop up through the uh, 2.4%. 4% range, but they have been, uh, they've just come off the, the lows of the year, mm -hmm. but they have been, the trend has been for them to be trading lower. Mm -hmm. So although we're seeing them at these levels at the moment, uh, I think when the Fed, uh, as an anticipated hikes come Thursday, I think we will see those yields move lower. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jessica, thank you for that. Lots to watch for this week. Check Thanks, Carson. Jessica Russick from FIG to the